Just imagine, you turn on the news only to find out that several tourist cities have been wiped off the face of the earth. Many people died, millions were left with no roof over their heads, and a huge cloud of ash and smoke has turned the sky black. Power lines have been cut off, all air traffic has ceased, the climate is about to change. You can't believe your eyes and ears, the story has repeated. Vesuvius has again awakened, and mankind still doesn't know what to do about it. How real is this picture? How widespread will the destruction be if the planet's most famous volcano erupts again? Which cities will suffer? How many people will die? And what will it cost all of humanity? Vesuvius began to form 25,000 years ago and has erupted many times. Today, it's the only active volcano in continental Europe and is considered one of the most dangerous in the world. And this is not just because of the case of Pompeii. About 3 million people live near Vesuvius, and 800,000 of them are in the so-called Red Zone. This is an area of 200 square kilometers, or 77 square miles, around the volcano that will be affected first. Do you understand what this is all pointing to? We have a volcano that is considered active, that is, it periodically erupts, and there are many people living at the foot of it. In addition, Vesuvius is located above a huge reservoir of magma located deep in the ground. It has an area of approximately 400 square kilometers, or 154 square miles. This is a huge reserve in which the concentration of various gases increases over the years. The longer Vesuvius is silent, the more dangerous it becomes. We can even say that it's just gaining strength, but one day the patience of the volcano will end. First, a powerful explosion will occur. Then a pyroclastic flow will follow, sweeping away everything in its path. This is a mixture of hot volcanic gases, ash, and rock fragments. The streams are expected to accelerate to about 160 kilometers per hour. That's 100 miles per hour. Perhaps they'll be even faster. You definitely can't outrun the eruption. Scientists believe that during the destruction of Pompeii, the volcano produced six separate pyroclastic emissions. So, the area that would be immediately affected could be huge. At the same time, a huge pillar of smoke and ashes would rise up, the height of which can reach 32 kilometers or 20 miles. During the eruption, a huge amount of thermal energy is released, leading to the death of many people. In just a second, everyone in the affected area will die. We can say that it will become hellishly hot, and this is not even a metaphor. The sky over the region will turn black. People and animals will have nothing to breathe. Even if the weather is windy that day, it will only make it worse. Air currents will not bring fresh air, but they can spread the ash far beyond Italy. This will disrupt air traffic throughout the continent for several weeks. Pompeii will again be under a layer of ash and pumice, and along with it, Naples. Smaller settlements will simply be razed to the ground. No modern construction methods can prevent this. Very quickly, houses can be buried under a thick layer of pumice and volcanic ash. In places, it can reach up to 20 meters or 66 feet. Most likely, the roofs of homes will not withstand such weight and will crush anyone who decides to hide inside. Strictly speaking, people can't defend themselves against anything with such natural power. Everything that I described here will happen very quickly, perhaps in just 15 minutes. The only thing people can do is flee. 
But this is not a situation after which it will be possible to return home. There simply will not be any houses in the affected area. It's not as simple as just sweeping the ashes out into the street. Unless, after many years, archaeologists decide to unearth the destroyed cities as they did with Pompeii. In any case, all settlements affected by the eruption of Vesuvius will no longer be suitable for life. Survivors will lose access to water, electricity, and transportation. Naples, like other cities near the volcano, can only become a memorial. If we don't evacuate on time, hundreds of thousands or even millions of people will die. And it won't be just citizens of Italy. According to the Italian National Institute of Statistics, more than 3 million tourists visit this region annually. So the eruption will turn into a tragedy for the entire planet. Mourning will be declared around the world. The entire zone of destruction will turn into a lifeless desert. And of course, it will be a huge blow to the Italian economy. According to some reports, the loss will amount to about 24 billion US dollars, excluding the cost of housing for displaced residents. But the locals are ready for a powerful eruption. At least, they think they're ready. Scientists monitor the activity of Vesuvius 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. They're doing everything they can to predict a disaster. As I said at the beginning, the most dangerous area near the volcano is the red zone. It will be almost impossible to survive here. Therefore, when Vesuvius begins to erupt again, the Italian government will conduct an urgent evacuation. The plan provides for the use of buses and cars, but trains and ships may also be required to meet deadlines. In 72 hours, the red zone should be completely cleared. This is pretty tricky. Too many people live there. And they're not military who are in a constant state of readiness. However, now the situation is much better than before. Data from 2003 looked disappointing. It would take at least two weeks to evacuate 800,000 civilians. If we reduce the population, we could accomplish it in eight days. But Vesuvius is unlikely to wait so long. You're probably thinking, why settle at all so close to the volcano? Yes, it would be easier if people stayed away from it. The Italian authorities are actively trying to reduce the population near Vesuvius by demolishing illegal buildings and creating a national park around the volcano. Starting from 2004, the government has developed a program of payments to the population. 46,000 US dollars can be received for every local resident who agrees to move from the red zone. But there are not many who want to. However, there's a more terrible thing than the eruption of Vesuvius. Phlegraean Fields. The last time the volcano erupted was in the 16th century. But even earlier, it was the Phlegraean Fields together with a couple of other volcanoes that caused such a disaster that resulted in the Neanderthals dying out. Imagine what would happen if the Phlegrian fields were to wake up today, when the Earth's population density is much higher. If something like this really happens, the eruption of Vesuvius will seem like just a small nuisance comparatively. Although then, in 79 AD, it still made an incredible amount of noise. During its explosion, a hundred thousand times more thermal energy was released than during both the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Under a layer of volcanic ash and debris, not only Pompeii, but also Herculaneum, with a couple of other settlements around Vesuvius, were buried. During the eruption, temperatures near Vesuvius could reach 500 degrees Celsius, that's 932 degrees Fahrenheit. According to open sources, this was enough to kill people in a split second. The temperature was so high that all the bodily fluids and tissues in the body of the victims simply evaporated. Now, imagine that something similar could happen in the modern world if measures are not taken. I wouldn't wish this even upon my worst enemy. 
If you want to know about the consequences of the eruption of other volcanoes in our time, write about it in the comments. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Click on the bell quickly to receive notifications of new interesting videos that are waiting for you ahead.